Hello and welcome back. I'm going to show you my latest and greatest new invention, the magic uh, sleeve, I'm calling it right now. Uh, for a while it was just the glove, then I added the sleeve here. So what we got here, uh, we have an Arduino uh, lily pad microcontroller. Uh, the lily pad is meant to be a small circuit board that you use for, well, for exactly this sort of thing, wearable textile stuff. Um, over here we have an XB, which is a uh, wireless transmitter. This is going to be a power supply source and regulator. The actual battery itself is hanging out my wrist down here somewhere. Uh, back here, uh, we'll get to that in a second actually. Up here we have a joystick module from a PSP game system. Uh, these are actually pretty cheap to get. Uh, it's nice because they're not very bulky, they're pretty light, and they have a nice good grip on them. Uh, right here I just added a single button just so I had some sort of user input. Normally you would put that on the inside of the glove or something like that, or you would just use electrodes so you didn't actually have to physically push the button, but whatever, it's good for now. I uh, got this all wired, wired up with a couple of wires, a little bit of conductive thread, uh, then a lot of these button snaps. What The cool one though that I have is this little breakout board, which is hard to see. There he is. Okay this little breakout board here. Now what this is actually attached to are these 9 volt batteries which are really bulky and I want to find something else to use there instead. But what's actually attached here are a couple of electrodes and um, these are actually pinned through the sleeve to some electric, uh, electrically, con electrically conductive fabric, this stuff right here. Uh, and then I have one on the back side there as well. And where is it? There you go. And not to get into too much detail, but what this does is it measures basically how much you are flexing a given muscle. Um, it's called the muscle sensor. All right, so I've built a quick little GUI interface, nothing really fancy right here. So you can actually see what I'm doing here. So I've got my little joystick right there, um, and if I move it one way or the other, oh, whoops, I'm, what the heck did I just do? Oops, I broke something. What the heck? Weird. Okay, um, that was strange. All right, but if I move my joystick here, here, uh, you see it's doing that. Unfortunately, I accidentally shorted out the x-axis, so it's not messing with me right now. And I know that normally this would be x and this would be y, but the way I had it sewn on is deal with it. Um, I short circuit it with the button press, but if I do press the button right here, you'll see that it's registering my button presses, and that's pretty cool. Now the nice one is when I flex my arm. If uh, if it'll oblige, uh, short circuits happening in anyway. But you'll see right here whenever I'm flexing my arm, it's actually picking up that input down there. Once again, I'm having issues with the uh, x-axis being short circuited. Wait for it. There we go. Nope, I killed something. Anyway, so uh, when this is working properly, there I'll just keep doing this one. Whenever I'm making a fist, there we go. That's more like it. Yeah, okay. Cool. So if I don't flex my index finger, it won't be a problem. Anyway, but you'll see that every time that I flex my arm, uh, our bar down here, which is linked up to the muscle sensor, is actually bumping up a little bit. Also, I'm not fantastic at building GUI interfaces, so that's cool. So every time I'm pulsing my arm, it's registering there. This can be useful for a couple things. One thing is you can put a threshold on, so whenever you flex past a certain point, it registers as essentially like a click of a button, as in like a mouse. Um, or the other one is you can have it be an actual analog input. So let's say you were playing some sort of video game where you're a wizard or something like that, and you are shooting a fireball or, I don't know, something like that. You'd be able to put out your hand, and the more you actually flex and put effort into it, it would actually register that difference. Or if you were playing, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Uh, probably most useful for video games. Um, other cool stuff, Halloween costumes, you know, if you want something to light up a little brighter or something like that, that's cool too. Uh, this is all being communicated over the wireless uh, 802 blah 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 protocol using both these little XB modules. This is an Arduino Uno with the XB shield. Yeah, um, so I guess now I'm going to try to, well first of all i got to fix that short circuit. But anyway, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can get this hooked up to a video game, and there we go. Thanks for watching.